All right, so let's take a look at the internet weather for the last week or so here. And, I, you know, quite frankly, I didn't see too many things that were really uh, significant for reporting purposes. So uh, we're just taking a look here, at, first of all, at the most uh, top 10 most probe ports. It's sort of a typical list here, top of the list, port 23, followed by port 22 TCP. The next one actually moved up quite a bit, so we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at it. This is 1900 UDP. And we're looking at probing activity here, so that's most likely the request side of reflective denial service attack activity. So, we'll, like I said, we'll take a little closer look at that. Followed by 9064, which is a, a proxy port, so looking for uh, anonymizing proxies most likely. Port 135 TCP, it's been on the list for a long time, 445 TCP. It's encouraging to see that piece of the pie narrowing yeah. significantly as we go along here. Port 8880 TCP, which uh, often on the list, again, proxy port. 3389 remote desktop protocol, port 53 UDP, most likely probing, looking for open proxies, and 80 TCP, which, uh, you know, obviously they'd be looking for websites. Now, one of the things I added on this particular pie chart that we haven't seen in the past is the, in the other category, how many other ports are getting probed. So out of the 128 thousand ports and then there are some uh, protocols and uh, ICMP types. We're seeing another 1,566 ports that are being probed there. So relatively small percentage of the ports are being probed, but in this particular case represent maybe 45 percent or so of the total probes that we see on the network. So there's quite a bit of other stuff that's going on. As I said, taking a little closer look at scan probes on port 1900 UDP, we're actually looking at two things here. One is um, on the top graph, looking at the number of probes that are taking place and actually looking over the last year. So uh, we can see the trend in activity as this port was, first of all, some scanning activity looking for availability of this port, that is devices that are offering this port on the internet. And then uh, subsequently the growth of DDoS attack activity, that is reflective denial service attack activity using this port, and that's really in the graph below where we're looking at the number of bits coming from port 1900 UDP, that is source port 1900 UDP. And uh, the scale below is in gigabits per second, and um, from the slice of the network that we're look looking at here, there was a period where it was up around, you know, in the tens of gigabits per second. It tapered off a little bit, I think, uh, in an effort to try to uh, close down some of the activity. But that uh, continues, to, that is, the amount of probing activity continues to grow. That suggests to me more attacks, but that perhaps not larger attacks in a cumulative sense. Again, the, the number of uh, flows there related to an increase in the amount of attack activity that's taken place. Taking a look at the top 10 most sources doing the probing, again, not a whole lot. In fact, there hasn't been really very much movement on this one at all. The one thing that actually shows up here is uh, port 3159 UDP, but that's actually, I think, a bit, is that a bit toward port? I don't, or is that, I don't or, remember that one. Actually, I should have probably taken a little closer look at it, but. I feel uh, like it's a proxy port, but give me a second. Okay, go ahead and take a look. Yeah, it's UDP uh, though. Yeah, I think you oh, actually are right, mm. Matt. But in any case, uh, the, at the top of the list here, port 23 TCP, we had taken a look at that last week, and uh, it's actually continuing to be uh, relatively consistent. That, we haven't seen any significant increases in activity for the last few weeks. It's actually tapering off a little bit in terms of the number of sources doing the probing. But as we looked at last week, there are some spikes in the number of probes on port 23. And 3159. Yes. It's that Navego web terrification one that we still don't understand. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, so if any, any of our viewers have any uh, insight into port 3159 and uh, can help explain it, we'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, any, in any case, uh, followed by port 445 TCP, 2715, some peer-to-peer -peer activity, 6881 also, I think that is the bit torn port. And then 1900 UDP, we've already talked about that in the context of um, reflective denial of service attack activity. And then followed by a couple of ICMP uh, sets of activity. So.